Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Brenna and this is my series of favorite baby names by letter. This is episode five, so we are on the letter E. I have 10 girls names and 10 boys names for you. This is a nice comfy, casual, laid back video. So grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack. We're just gonna talk about some of my favorite names. So I will be reading off my notes a little bit just to give you the rankings and such. And with all of that said, let's just go ahead and get started. So starting with girls' names today, I do have them in order of the most popular name down to the least popular and definitely some unranked options there at the end. The most popular girl's name that I really love is the name Eliana, spelled E-L-I-A-N-A. -A. It's ranked number 48. And I like to mention if I said this name in other videos. So if you're interested in more research information about the name, you can go check out those videos linked in the description down below. The name Eliana was in my video about the real top 20 names. So there are tons of different spellings of this name. And in the real top 20 video, I combined all of the spellings of different names to figure out which names are really being used the most. So I suggest you go check that out um, because while Eliana is ranked number 48 in the charts, somehow it made it into my real top 20 names video. I love a long four syllable name option, even though these long elegant names don't really make a lot of sense for me with my really long last name. And there are tons of nickname options even past the obvious one of Ellie. So you could do Liana, you could do Anna, you could do Lee, there's, you could do Eli, there's so many options there. Um, the second name I have for you is the girl's name Eden, spelled E-D-E-N. It is ranked 121 right now, and I included this in my video of boho girls' names, which, fun fact, is actually my most viewed video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out in the description box. This is a biblical name that's synonymous with a paradise or a place of delight and pleasure. It's a Hebrew name that's slightly more popular than Spot 121 in Australia, New Zealand, and the UK. And something that sticks out to me about the name Eden is this long E sound at the beginning that I think is pretty uncommon for names. The third girl's name I have listed today is the name Esther, spelled E-S-T-H-E-R. It's ranked 156, which was a little bit shocking to me. It's a vintage favorite of mine, but I didn't know it was a vintage favorite of so many people. And one of y'all in comments previously uh, for my vintage baby girls nicknames video suggested the nickname Essie for Esther. And I think that is super sweet. I would definitely use that. This name also means star in Persian. So it also has that sort of astrological celestial type connection, which we're seeing in a lot of names right now, like Nova and Stella, for example. The next name is the name Ember, E-M-B-E-R, ranking 163. This is a French variation of the name Amber, and one thing I would look out for is I bet that these names are often misread or mispronounced and confused with one another. I wouldn't let that turn you off from a name completely. This reminds me of a lot of the other EM beginning names for girls. So if you love names like Emily and Emma, but want something a little more unique, you might also love the name Ember, which I think just sounds so unique to me. The next name is a one syllable option and it was actually in my one syllable girl's name video, which was only the second video I ever put out on this channel. That is the name L-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, ranking 357. This always reminds me of the main character of Legally Blonde. She's smart, persistent, hardworking. She's very dedicated to what she's doing, which I love. And this one syllable option sticks out to me as a very understated and sort of like friendly name. Like, I, it just feels so warm to me, this name. The next one is a name I have 
put on many lists before. So if you've been around for a bit, you've probably heard this name from me. And that is the name Esme, E-S-M-E, -E, ranking 379. So this has been on my rainbow baby names list, alternative to top girls names, baby names meaning love because it is a French name meaning beloved. It was also in vowel girls names and rising girls names. So a lot of videos there. Clearly I love this name. It is a great alternative option to the top 10 name Emma. And it seems like I'm not the only one loving this name because it has risen 167 spots over the last three years. So that's quite an increase. It's definitely becoming more popular right now. The last ranked girl's name option I have for you is the name Eileen, E-I-L-E-E-N, ranking 673. This is another one that was in my vowel girl's names video as well as alternative to top girl's names. In addition to those two, it was also in my Irish baby names video. It mirrors that beautiful sound of the name Isla, which is well used right now. It's also considered a Scottish variation of the name Evelyn. So if you love the name Evelyn, but it's just too popular for you right now, and you want something a little bit similar and a name that's connected to Evelyn, you could try out Eileen. It's very vowel prominent and it also boasts a water connection because it means island. So I have videos all about water themed baby names and I didn't include this one, but I probably should have. I have three more girls names for you. All of them are unranked, so they're in no particular order. The first one is the name Evelina, E-V-E-L-I-N-A. I think this is another alternative to the name Evelyn, possibly. It feels very playful, and any name that contains E-V-E, -E, I think could be a really thematic option for a holiday time baby. So you think about New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, any of the Eves, and I think this could really fit that time. And this is another four syllable beauty. It is stunning. And it's kind of sad that I probably could never use a four syllable name, but don't you always want what you can't have? You know, if I had a one syllable last name, I would probably wish I could use one syllable first names. And there's always something that isn't going to sound right with your last name. So you just take what you get. The next name I have for you is the name Ellery, spelled E-L-O-R-Y. This is actually an alternative spelling to the traditional Ellery, E-L-L-E-R-Y, which came from the name Hillary. This has a one-of-a-kind sound, but is still pretty easy to read and pronounce, so it doesn't really sound super out there or made up. And I think it just has a pretty nice sound to it. It rolls off the tongue nicely. The last girl's name I have for you is the name Enola, E-N-O-L-A. And I didn't really know any concrete information about this name before researching for this video, but I did have a friend growing up when I was a child who had this name, and I just thought it was so beautiful and underused. I did come to find out in my research that this name actually originates as the backward spelling of alone. And maybe you could say that means it's the opposite of alone. That definitely sounds a little more happy than being associated with the meaning of the word alone. But this has gained some more visibility recently because of the Netflix movie about Sherlock Holmes' fictional sister named Enola. So those are my 10 favorite girls' names starting with the letter E. Please let me know in the comments down below what your favorites are as we move to the boy side of things. Starting off with the name Ezra, E-Z-R-A, ranking 37 right now. And this is a name that made its way into the top 100 following the debut of the show Pretty Little Liars because there is a prominent character named Ezra in the show. And I do have to admit that's the first place I heard this name when I was younger. 
and it has that long sought after Z sound and is also a biblical name. So there's a lot going for the name Ezra and I really love it as do apparently a lot of people. <laughs> The second name is also in the top 100, and that is the name Everett, spelled E-V-E-R-E-T-T. -E -E Again, it has that E-V-E, -E, so it could be considered a really cool holiday time name. It's ranked number 82, and I included this in my vowel names for baby boys. I always consider the double T ending in boys' names very southern gentlemanly. I don't know if that's just me. I don't really have any reasoning behind that. I just kind of feel that way about these names with the double T. And the majority of popular boys' names tend to be two syllables, so I love hearing a three-syllable option high up there as well. The next name is the name Enzo, E-N-Z-O, ranking 139 right now. It is considered to be a shortened form of Italian names like Lorenzo or Vincenzo, but has now become a name that stands all on its own. It just came into the charts in 2003, and it reminds me a lot of the sweet, short, edgy name Ezra that we just talked about. So if you like that name but want something a bit less common, you could consider the name Enzo instead. Number four on my boys list is the name Elliot, spelled E-L-L-I-O-T-T. -T. So I prefer the two L's and two T's, but there are clearly tons of spellings of this name. It's actually a little more popular if you just have one T, but this spelling is ranked 169 right now. I get a bit of a preppy, academic, buttoned up type vibe from the name Elliot, which I don't really think is necessarily a bad thing, just an observation of, you know, the feeling I get from this name. The next name is the name Eric, E-R-I-C. This is another one that was in my vowel baby names for boys, and it is ranked 213 right now. Like the name Elliot that we just discussed, this is another one that has many spellings to choose from. The website uh, Nameberry deemed Eric the, quote, all-time most popular Scandinavian boy's name in the U.S. Now, I'm not sure how that was determined, but there you have it. It's of Scandinavian origin, and apparently it's the most popular one of those names that has been used in the U.S. <laughs> it's also a Disney name. It's the Prince from The Little Mermaid, if that has any meaning for you. The next name is the name Ellis, E-L-L-I-S, ranking 321. This is a longtime favorite of mine, so it's been in several videos, including last names as first names part one, vintage boy names, and alternatives to current top boys' names. This is actually a family name of mine, which I think is a really great way to honor a family member by taking a maiden name or taking a last name of a distant relative or a middle name even. And this could make a cool alternative to an Elliot or an Elijah. It's also ranked for girls right now, which surprised me just a little bit, but there are about two boys for every one girl named Ellis right now. So definitely more popular on the boys side of things. And that's probably how I would use it. It also hits on that trendy S ending that we see in a lot of boys names right now, like the name Brooks. The last ranked boy's name I have for you is the name Edwin, E-D-W-I-N, ranking 354. Wow, so apparently I didn't choose any names between 354 and 1000 <laughs> for boys. I, I don't scroll through the chart when I choose these. I think of names that have really stuck out to me throughout my time making videos and just from different places I've seen names. So, and then I go research the standing. So it's just kind of surprising to see that none of the names I chose were between 354 and 1000. Anyway, the name Edwin I included on my alternatives to top boys names, and it means wealthy friend, which is kind of neat. And am I the only one that always misremembers that character name from Narnia? I always think his name is Edwin, but his name is actually Edmund. Um, I do prefer Edwin to Edmund, not the 
that's what this video is about. But I just wanted to point that out. I always misremember that for some reason. And Edwin's a cool alternative to names like Edward that probably have some history in your family somewhere, but maybe just don't feel quite updated enough for you to use. The last three boys' names are unranked, again, in no order. The first one is the name Emrys, E-M-R-Y-S. I recently included this on a unique unranked boy's name list. It comes from the Greek name Ambrose and is also the name of a mythical wizard. It has, again, that trendy S ending that is definitely hot for boys right now. The second to last name is the name Elton, E-L-T-O-N. And I have a super strong musical association with this name, and I bet a lot of people do, having that connection with Elton John. It is also a town name in many countries, so it could hit on that location or place name vibe that you might like. And it's definitely a rare option, but I do think it could be really cool and wearable because it hits on that sort of two-syllable N ending sounding names. So maybe that wasn't the best way to describe it, but a lot of boys' names are two syllables and end E-N or O-N. So for example, we could compare this to the name Ethan, which is really popular right now. So how about that name Elton? Just think about it a little bit. <laughs> the last name is the name Evans, E-V-A-N-S, which was in my last names as first names video part two. And again, another S ending name that clearly fits into my favorite family of names, which is last names as first names. This is obviously a take on the name Evan, which originated from the name John. So if you're looking to honor a John in the family, but want something with a bit of a different modern sound to it, you could consider the name Evans. And that is all I have for you today. I would love to hear your favorite names for boys and girls down in the comments section below. I would love to hear your thoughts on these E names I picked out. This is a little series with one episode per week coming out on Saturdays until we get to the end of the alphabet. So next week you'll be seeing the letter F, of course. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my new videos. It really helps me out and it's free for you to do. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you next time.